Well, here's one another very important video. You can see two pipes coming from the building, okay, and going into the pump room. And from the pump room, you can see now two pipes coming to the roof. It's going to the chiller. Well, let me show you. This is the return line. This second pipe is the return line. This first pipe is the supply from the chiller. So, just let the study. You can see a return line taking into the chiller. That's a clamp. That's a support. That's a channel support. We have provided it's like this. It's nothing but simple channel support. This is foster insulation over it. It will come uh, aluminum cladding as well. You can see it's a butterfly valve. It's not a motorized. It's a normal butterfly valve. And over here, a pressure unit. Okay, testing point. That's it. It's a strainer. Okay, it's a four-inch strainer. It's a four-inch line. Then it's a four-inch strainer. Wherever the strainer is there, the inlet line is there. So it's quite simple indication which is the inlet line and outlet line of the chiller wherever the strainer is there that's an inlet line and wherever a DRV comes a motorized DRV or that's motorized DRV means a PICV or a DRV comes double regulating valve it's a outlet line so it's basically very simple identification now you can see again again we are having several test points over here for air vent maybe for uh, temperature I'll explain in the drawing I'm having you can see many test points have been given okay now this is just an insulation nothing uh, that's a flexible connector okay it's a 4 inch 100 mm you can see and now that is evaporator okay it's going over there it's a compressor of a chiller it's a McWay chiller and supplied by Daikin and it's a compressor that's a evaporator okay and the topper part you can see the reddish one is a condenser I mean it's an air cooled chiller hence air cooled condensing will be taking place air cooled it's quite a heat over there okay again the outlet connection of the evaporator you can see that's a flexible connector again and it's a, again a rubber support I mean rubber insert inside and just over the clamp you can see again a point test point provided and it's actually motorized butterfly valve okay it's a motorized butterfly valve you can see it's honey valve it's clearly written honey valve actuator butterfly valve 4 inch water type PN16 actuator on of type and you know it it will be controlled by the BMS look you can see that's what I'm, I'm I'm trying to explain you can see this is a zero you can see this is zero it's close it will be open it's a motorized valve that will be connected to the BMS now that's a manual DRV with the memory stop feature whatever will fix it will supply only that much amount you can see it's a memory stop feature you can see right five four three like that and that's outlet line of the chiller and it will go back Simultaneously, we are having two chillers. Okay, so it's the same procedure for another chiller. That's a McWay. It's quite good. It's 70 TR. Specified was 50, but supplied is 70. You know, 20% it takes, but we have given more because few machines added later, and to recover that heat loss. You can see that's a control panel, that's a cable coming out and it's just suffocating, that's it. It's control panel, electrical panel already, it comes with the chiller, but an external panel we have to give for the power supply. Power supply is coming from that station, there's this one big station over there, substation, and from that our plant is being supplied, power supply. This is my project and it's quite good. This is the vice first astronomy center building up. The chill water pipes, the firefighting pipe, the water supply pipe all are underground. It's 60 meters away and it comes to the pump room and you can see it's rising up. Well, that's my video log. PICV valve is yet to be fixed. So 
I know the location. <laughs> I'll explain in the drawings. Where the PICV will come. Uh, well, that completes my video log. Chiller. <laughs>